Hey guys, it's Dexter for one here, and today is the day. Finally, Portal 2 is out. Um, I just got back from my little local uh, video rental store, and I was able to actually rent this game for the next uh, five days, <laughs> or until um, Sunday by midnight. So, for the next couple of days, or however long I decide to, uh, uh, I guess, stretch this playthrough out, I'm gonna be rushing through the single player campaign and <coughs> excuse me the uh, cooperative campaign with my brother which um, you may see a little bit of um, later on and um, as you can see uh, the little steam access or interface is it's pretty smooth I really like what they've done with it and finally I'm glad that they actually uh, finally added a way for you to actually chat with a uh, some of your friends who are on Steam, as well as you can check your uh, achievements that you've earned in the game. So it's pretty neat. I need more friends on Steam. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if anyone else has this game or they're planning on getting this game for either PC or PS3, let me know, because uh, I will play with you for as long as I have this game for. So who knows? And um, yeah, I really wanted to buy this game because I felt like it would, you know, last, I wouldn't say last forever since it's a puzzle game. And once you figure out how to navigate the puzzles, um, well, yeah, you already understand how to play the game. Or it would, the game would be a, a breeze, so. But yeah, I, it's, I'm kind of short on money <laughs> right now, being a college student. And um, yeah, I decided I'd just go ahead and rent this for the next couple of days and, um, Actually, I was lucky enough to actually be able to rent this for free, so that's pretty sweet. And um, I'm not sure if you guys can hear a little bit in the background, but right now there's a little bit of a thunderstorm going on, so if you hear a lot of um, rumbling, and you might be able to hear a little bit of rain, I doubt it, but yeah, a little bit of a thunderstorm going on. Um, so I'm not really sure, I don't think I'm going to play too much for this first part. Um, I say it because I have some work to get back to. <laughs> right now I'm in the final two weeks of uh, my classes or courses at uh, on college or with college, so I really need to be diverting my attention and my focus in that area. So I thought I would just go ahead and um, upload a little quick uh, gameplay footage uh, of what I'm doing right now. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture hmm. Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived Now, this may sound like one of the weirdest things you'll or the dumbest thing, I should say. You will hear um, a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, well, hold look on, up at the ceiling. Huh? Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. That is a nice this painting. This completes Why the gymnastic portion feet? of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. I think I was just there. Is this? This is art. <laughs> you will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. I'm already staring, though. <laughs> Can I you turn away? You feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Is that there? I didn't notice the... Did I do something wrong? Now, please return to your bed. I don't want to go to sleep, though. It looks pretty good. Running off the sorts engine. That looks pretty darn good. Um. Good morning. You have been in suspension for... Hello? Huh. Anyone in there? Hello? Are you going to open the door at this time? I'm guessing that Hello? is no. Wheatley. Are you going to open this door? <laughs> ah! No, no. You look um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you? Don't answer that. I'm actually sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. What happened to my room? Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. <laughs> it's just optional, of course. Oh crap. You alright, 
down there? Barely. Can you hear me? Hello? Is there any food in here? No. Most test subjects do experience some uh, hmm. cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Few months. Now you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question I jump? Yep. that you might have a very minor case that looks of really good. serious brain damage. <laughs> but don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that Ooh. feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Speak. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. <laughs> Never mind. Say a apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. Hold All reactor tight core what? safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Uh, uh, uh oh. Okay, look, I wasn't gonna mention this oh, to you, crap. but I'm in pretty hot oh, water Oh crap. How are you doing down this there? is really Still cool, yet scary. Freaky awesome. <laughs> That's probably the best description I can give right now. I'm gonna go this way. Uh, oh. Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, good. It looks so good. Oh man, are you guys seeing this? This is crazy awesome. Super mega here. awesome. Oh crap. Right, I just can't concentrate. That is very impressive. And whose fault I don't know do you why. think it's gonna be it is, when the management comes down here and finds ten thousand flipping vegetables? Oh crap. Right, so oh crap, I was I nah, that. I'm not gonna go with that. Man. You know, I'm just gonna stay on this bed. I feel like I'm the safest in this small okay, little listen, area. We should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know. You know what? I, I need to pause this real quick. Because I have um, my microphone um, it's streaming the audio that's coming from the TV as well. I'm not playing this with a headset on, which I probably should be, but um, I was too lazy to set it up. So I'm going to do that real quick, quickly right now. I apologize. I'm sorry. How unprofessional of me. Let me get this in here. Let's get that. Okay. Yeah, I got the plug and the TV. I have my headset on. I am ready to go. All right, let's do this. Yeah, everyone looks That's really pretty quiet. much alive. All right, not dead. All right, let me. Okay, the almost there. On the other side of that Excellent. wall is one of the old testing tracks. Okay. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. Okay. I, I think this is a docking station. It get says ready. docking station, I think. Uh oh. Oh. Good news. I think I'm. No, that no. is not a docking station. I thought I was stuck there for a so second. There's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Uh. <laughs> Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Oh god. The destruction in this game is gorgeous. There we go. So now I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um at least you're a good jumper, so you got that, got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. That's the spirit. You're just gonna let me go, I guess? You gonna stay there? How are you gonna get over here? Oh. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. Isn't this how the first game begins? We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potential... Yeah, I'll explain what I just said there. In a ...beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so oh. that science can still be done, even in the event That's of environmental, cool. social, economic, or structural collapse. What's that? The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin hmm. in three, two, one. Interesting. Okay, now, what I mentioned there earlier when I said, isn't this where the first game begins? Um, yeah, oddly enough, I've never played the first game before. Not because I didn't want to, but because my computer 
can't handle it. Uh, even though I have the game, I actually have the orange box itself. Um, I've only been able to play Half-Life Episode 1, though. Um, I've already played Half-Life 2, but I've only played Half-Life Episode 1 off of the orange box. Um, and I didn't complete it because, well, I, I guess a couple hours in, it, my, it really started showing my computer, um, making my computer look like a big bitch, I guess. <laughs> so, it just, yeah, I decided, you know what, um, I'll, I'll probably mess around with this episode two and portal when I get a better computer. Um, and yeah, I think I've messed around a little bit of, uh, Team Fortress 2 as well, but it's not, I haven't played enough to really enjoy it, so, um. Yeah, I thought I would explain that for you guys. <laughs> I'm probably going to end up missing a lot of stuff, references I were from the first game. In my eagerness to try out the second one. Because, I mean, I really wanted to try out the first one, but... I just... I don't know. I just bought it because it was $5 on Steam, and... You know, it was a steal at the time. Same thing with Mass Effect and Bioshock as well. Both were $5 at one point in time. I bought them on Steam because I was like, well, $5 for these games? These, I don't know why I said games like that. <laughs> but those games, that's a steal if I and call one. Testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. Companion Cube, I remember if this. If Cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. <laughs> Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Interesting. Uh, so I guess... Yeah, I guess I'm going here. This looks... This game looks very nice. So far. Very impressive, I might add. So, uh, yeah. Like I said before, I haven't got a chance to try out Portal 1 yet. I really don't feel like watching playthroughs of other people running through it as well because I really want to get the experience for myself even though I already know what happens at the end down your neck. <laughs> relax lie on your back and apply immediate pressure to your temples I kind of you spoiled are it for myself you experiencing though. a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated okay, the ear tubes inside your head ear tubes hmm wonder what that means am I just placing a cube in a area or some sort. I don't know. That looks bad. Painful. Do not wash your hands. You got um, turrets. Don't want to mess with those. Flying through portals. Jumping into a portal and then coming out, I guess. Um, dropping cube. I'm not sure about that. Cube hits you in the back of the head. That's never a good thing. DDR. And I guess it might be swimming or probably acid, but doesn't look too good. Hmm. Let's all activate. Okay. I'm guessing I can break through here, but I don't know how to really. I think I just ducked. Yeah, it's crouched. Okay. Um. Yeah, that was loud. That was thunder, by the way. Hmm. Might I add that I'm not really great at puzzle games, so <laughs> you might. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> you might see a lot of um. Me. You might see me stuck in a lot of areas. So, if you feel the need to scream at your computer, monitor, TV, whatever you're watching this on, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I might actually leave it up to you guys to help me on some if I end up getting stuck. Though then again, I'm not sure if it'll actually let, if I'll have the game for that long. Where I actually can be able to interact with you guys like that. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. That was easy. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate Does anyone have a pen? For an interview. 
when society has been rebuilt. Hmm.